right, we're going to have two options here for the ribs on the wing. Um, I'm using the 332nd by 4 by 36, which is this up here. And uh, what you're going to do is, with the two options, I mean, is the one option, you can see has the way it's drawn out on the template that we took from the plan sheet, so that's probably the way to go. I have to do mine a little different for the wing that I have and for the model that I'm using. So I'm going to cut this tip off. So mine is going to look square on the front, like this right here. But you can go right ahead and put this notch in here if you want. Don't worry about these lines unless you want to do it the way I'm going to do it. And that's put a piece of triangle stock on the front of this instead of just putting a quarter inch piece into this piece here. Um, and then we're just going to sheet the whole thing. So when you sheet the, the whole thing, you're going to bow the wood around and you're going to use ammonia or you can use water depending on how severe the bow is to the 116 sheet you're going to be sheeting with. Um, you can either use one or the other. Warm water really softens the wood and you can bend it around. It won't break it. With the triangle stock, I'm only going to be sheeting from the top part up past this rib here. Pay no attention to these. That's for something later on. Um, so that's what's going to go on. But you want to make sure you put your center line on the, the rib. Um, all the way to the tail. That way you can mark every rib with your template. This is the template that I believe we cut out for the fuselage. So I basically just want to put that up in here on the sheet and trace it out. Um, but the, the plans require 1 16th, I think is what we said we were going to use the ribs for. Well, I'm going to use 3 32nd because I'm just trying to beef mine up a little bit. So I'm going to make 6 32nd ribs out of balsa. You want to do 8, unless you're doing it my way. Then you want to use six balsa, and the two center ribs are going to be balsa ply, also 332nd, but I'm still going to use the quarter inch balsa on the end for the wing tips. And that's really it. Make sure you put your center lines on, make sure you put your B on the bottom, and uh, go ahead and trace out all, all your pieces. So if you're doing it, the, by the way, the plan sheet and what you have in stock for what you bought, you want to do the 1 16th wood, you want to cut eight balsa ribs out, and then two ribs at a quarter inch thick. And that's all you need to do. So trace those out. And we'll be back to put this off. Okay, basically you're going to take your, your template here. And I made the wooden template off the, the wing pattern that we used when we did uh, when we cut out the wing template for the fuselage side. So I've got that pattern. I'm going to use that here. Um, the best way to lay this out is to just try and get much of the wood out of as possible. I just want to run it kind of at an angle like this. And that's where your next piece, you can stick the tail in there. And you can see how much we're getting to use all the wood here. And we're just going to do this down the pattern. And we'll flip this one around this way and start it that way. And, and that's the best way to go about using, getting the most out of your wood. So I'm going to go ahead and lay this pattern down. And I'm going to butt the nose right up to the, the tip here. Hope that's all in the film. And basically just going to trace it out. And just make sure you hold it firm for when you trace it out. It's nice with a piece of wood, you can go a little faster. And I'll put the uh, little slice marks in a bit. Now, through the process here, I hope that you've understood when I said we're going to take the line, we're going to leave the line, that type of thing. Um, See how when we're drawing it out here, we're, we're inside the piece. So in actuality, we want to cut away the line. So that would be to take the line away. So when I say cut the line or take the line, that means you want to cut beyond the line so you don't see the line on your original piece. If I say leave the line, that's basically you're just saying, okay, I want to leave the line there. That means you cut to the side where when your template's there, you can see the line. And that way you're measuring a little bit more precise everything is that. We want everything to be as exact as it can possibly be. So on my particular one, like I said, I'm going to make a mark here and I'm going to make a mark here because I'm going to cut off the tip. I'm not going to use this part of it. I'm going to put a triangle stock up against that. And I'm going to go ahead and mark my centers off. So then when I take the template off, I can just go right ahead and mark the centers with my flat edge. So now you also want to mark the pattern bottom. So I'm just going to put a B on the bottom. That way I'll know that this is the bottom of the of the ribs when you lay it down to set it up. Because you want to make sure you got your bottoms and your tops right. Even though they're kind of equal, it shouldn't be a big deal on this model, but in future models, that's what's going to happen. Then I'm just going to take my straight edge and put it on my two centers. And I'm going to draw out my center line so I got references 
my, I gotta hook these up to the spars. It's always nice to have center somewhere, especially in round objects. So there, now I'm just gonna cut this out. Well, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and trace out all mine, and then I'll cut them all out. So I'll be back when I trace them all out. Now, when you go to cut out your ribs, make sure you have a good sharp blade. Uh, make sure you're off your plan sheet. You don't want to cut into your plan sheet. And also, if you remember in the beginning of the thread when you started to build, uh, I believe it was uh, Fixin' to Fly was the guy who had uh, his plane put together, and he showed another thing where he put two quarter by inch, quarter by inch struts across the ribs to strengthen them up if you're using the 1 16th ribs. I'm pretty sure they're going to be fine just as 1 16th. It's built light so you can have, you know, a nice mobility plane, and a little engine will pull it real hard and fast. I'm using an oversized motor, so I don't care how much weight I'm putting in my plane, and it's going to fly great. Um, and don't worry about it if you cut something a little wrong or a little weird. We're going to pin all the ribs together at the end. When you get all your ribs done and all cut out, we're going to pin them all together and we're going to put the spars right through the notches here. And then uh, what the spars in, we'll clamp it down or pin it or whatever, and then we'll just sand everything perfect to each other so every rib is identical. And that's how we're going to get around to uh, just hand cutting them out. So have fun, cut them out, and uh, I'll see you when we have 10 ribs.